Hey gamers, what's up? Welcome to Gamer Life. On today's episode, I'm going to be taking a look at Formula D. Formula D is a racing game by Asmodee Games. Now, I had the original edition by Euro Games, but this edition is newer with newer components. The gameplay takes about one to two hours to play and plays between two to ten players. So let's take a look and I'll tell you what I think. Here's the track that comes with Formula D. Now, Formula D is a racing game, so like any other racing game, the first player to come in first wins. Now, the game comes with two types of race styles. You have the regular Formula race, which is this board here. As you can tell, you have a panel around it. It's quite large. It's also double-sided. On the back side is the night race, or the road races, in which you'll be playing as specialty characters, racing around more of a... Um, a street course instead of a formula course. Let me see if I can tell you. And the street course has slightly different rule sets as well as p customized characters. You have certain things like the police HQ over here and these um, special um, hazards over here. Now, I have only played this mode once and I wasn't too impressed with it. So, I, so for my review, I will be reviewing the regular formula mode. On, on the circuit tracks on the back side here. So, now also Formula D comes with ways to keep track of your um, car's stats. Let me show you right here. It comes with these, with these little player boards, like so, and you put your dashboard inside there. Now, they have two types. You have the, the beginner mode, and you have the advanced mode. So when you finish setting it up, it's going to look something similar to this here, in which you have your gear shift and your different wear points for your different stats. It's your tires, your brakes, your um, gearbox, suspension, engine, and, and um, body. The game also comes with um, special your player cards. Now in the regular mode, beginner or advanced, it doesn't matter. Only time it matters is, in, is if you're playing the advanced mode with the special characters, because each character has their own special stats as well as their own um, special uh, powers. So, just like any other racing game, players will, will be lined up at the start of the track on this track here. Let me see if I can focus this, focusing on it right there. All right. You'll be taking your cars, and, and, and the game comes with a decent amount of cars here. This is a show you right there. Here are all the different types of cars. So players will take a car of their color and place it on the board. Uh, star players determine randomly. So you place it on the board. And then you will then, in, in the beginning, in, a, in the regular games, you will roll a d20. And based on what you get, you will have either a poor start or a good start. So. But also, let me let you take a look at these special dice that, that this game uses. Because each dice here represents a different gear mode. So for example, this D4 is not really a D4 because it only has one or two spaces. It only has, has one or two because that's how many spaces you, that you would move when you roll this dice. Uh, you have your basic D20, then you have your other gear shifts. So it's the second gear, third, fourth, fifth, and the massive six gear. So, on a player's turn, the, I'm sorry, the game goes in, in, in um, player order based on your position that, that you're in. So the player in the first place will get to go first, player in the second place will then go second, so on and so forth. That player will then determine whether or not they, they want to shift up and how they would shift up if they, did, they would just advance their, their gear box down one. Then they will then roll the appropriate dice. For, so for example, this player here is in second gear, as you can tell right there. They roll the D4, sorry, the D6, a four, and they move that many spaces forward on the racetrack. Now, when it comes to moving your character, your uh, car on a track, you have to follow certain rules. You cannot go through another car, uh, uh, another uh, car, and you cannot zigzag on, on the track. You can overtake and change lanes, but you can never zigzag. Now, one th now the exception is in these turns. Let me zoom in on the turn so I can talk to you about it more specifically. Let's look at this turn right here. 
Now this turn is very is a, is a very basic turn. What that means is that's the num that, that number in the yellow means that's the stop. That's how many times you must stop in the turn. And you have to follow the arrows in the turn. So for example, if you're in this space here, the only space you can go to is in this space or in this space. Um, now these numbers here, the yellow, so I'm, I'm sorry, the green and the red, that's the longest route and that's the shortest route. That helps to determine what dice you want to roll. Because if you overshoot a turn and you don't stop in a turn, bad things can happen. You, can, you, you will lose um, tire points or brake points because it's trying to stop further back into the, in, in the turn. And how you do that is you, these here are, you use these to help mark them. You zoom out here a little bit. So for example, if you overshoot a turn, a one stop turn by one space, you would lose one tire. Now, also sometimes in a turn you might want to downshift. Now you can only downshift one time. You can downshift multiple times, but it's going to cause you cause you to damage your gearbox as well as as well as in engine. But you can never upshift more than one gear on your turn. Then there's some other rules in, in which if you ever stop next to another uh, racer, you will have to uh, roll collision. Uh, there are other rules such as slipstreaming, but these are more optional in my opinion. Also, before you start, you determine how many laps you will play in, in, in the, how, how many laps this game will take. A one lap is fairly short. A second lap you will have to use over here the pit stop. Let me show you if we go into it right here. This here is the pit stop. And, and, if, you use, and if, you ha if you elect to do a three lap race, you will then do some of the weather effects. Now I have to admit that as many times as I've played this game, I have never done a three lap race because it just takes too long. So I never had a chance to experience the, the changing weather or whether or not to use dry tires or wet tires. I also got to show you that the beginner mode, it, co it condenses all the player's stats into just one box, into, into one wear box here. So whenever you take damage or engine, you just, dam you just go down one wear point. While in the regular game, the game that I always played, you have this here, the regular gearbox. This is this mode was in the original game. The the this mode here is inside uh, the Asthma Days version. So I guess it's to help newer players grasp the certain concepts of the game. I never find the concepts to be that hard, so I always play with the regular mode here. That in a nutshell is Formula D. Now I enjoy this version of Formula D over the older version. The older version you had to write everything down on pen and paper. And the and it didn't have the roads track the the, the road race um, variant, as well as all the ca special characters and the special powers. And like I said, I haven't played too much with that mode because most of the people I play with want to play the regular game. But it is nice to have. Um, in essence, Formula D is a roll it, it is a roll to move game with resource management. You're trying to manage the wear and tear on your car, trying to trying to balance out the tires, the, the engine, the gearbox, the um, suspension, try to manage all that. So because of that, you're trying to push your luck because if sometimes you don't get the rolls, you're gonna fall behind and then you're gonna try to um, stay in, in that certain gear that you're in instead of slowing down on a turn, you're trying to, you, you might even speed up because if you count out the, the, the length of the turn, you can stay in your gear and try to roll that certain number true sometimes you overshoot it and then you're gonna have to take um, you're gonna lose a tire or um, brake trying to slow down but those are the risk and reward you're trying to take in this game so if you don't like dice rolling this may not be the one for you now my biggest problem with Formula D is the length I usually only play one to two laps because a th because even two laps with eight players is going to take over two hours and I also strongly recommend you get a second set of dice. The game only comes with one set of dice. And when each player is, is going to, on the turn, they, they determine which gear that they want to use for that turn. Then they set the gear and then you got to try to find the right color dice. So everyone's going to be looking around, okay, so where's the orange dice? Where's the red dice? Everybody's doing that on their turn. And it's, it's an extra minute or two each player takes on a turn looking for dice. So having an extra dice helps. But Oh, besides those, those, also, if you overshoot a turn, 
or if you somehow run out of tire or engine, you can be uh, eliminated in this game. So this game does have player elimination. And I know that that's a big no-no for some people, but it is a race. And if you wreck, you wreck. You're out of the race. Uh, also, this I can compare this game to Thunder Alley in a, in, because it has a, it's the same genre, but Thunder Alley is more of a simulation, moving a lot of cars around the track. While this, you're limited to um, to ten racers. While in Thunder Rally, you don't you never get this full sense of speed as you do in, in Formula D because when you roll that massive D30 and you get that 30 and you go 30 spaces on, on down the track, it's really cool. It has a really good sense of speed. And that's one of the things I love about Formula D is the sense of speed it gives you. But so other than those sm small quibbles, I do enjoy this game. It's one of my favorite games. I've had this game on my shelves for over seven years, I think. And I happy that I, I upgraded to this new version. So that's my review of Formula D. Thanks for watching and remember I believe there's a game for everyone. Thank you.